Senator Pat Toomey says he supports a bipartisan commission to investigate the attack on the U.S. Capitol and is waiting for a second vote to be taken on the issue. At the same time, in an interview with John Delano, Toomey rejected claims that he was holding up a transportation bill because he opposed more funding for public transit. Pennsylvania's Republican senator has announced his retirement, but he's still in the thick of things at the U.S. Capitol. Generally conservative, Toomey, who voted to convict Donald Trump for his actions on January 6, is not always predictable. And he's not quitting early. Don't push me out the door too early, John. I've got 18 months before I retire. So, uh, you know, that's a lot of time. It's a lot of time to try to uh, be as productive as I can. And the January 6 riots at the Capitol disturbed him. And although he missed the first vote on a bipartisan commission to investigate, he will support that action if Majority Leader Chuck Schumer brings that back up for another vote. I think it was a very, very um, uh, terrible, terrible moment for the country and something we need to thoroughly understand. Toomey supports a commission with five Republicans and five Democrats, but he says both parties must have staff, not just the Democrats. If there's not an agreement between the D's and the R's on a, a common staff, then they both should have their own staff. And Senator Collins has led the effort to make that change. Um, I will support the creation of a commission to do this investigation, provided that the Collins Amendment were to pass. On another issue, some accuse Toomey, the senior Republican on the Urban Affairs Committee, of blocking the surface transportation bill because he opposes more funding for public transit. Toomey says transit agencies have gotten plenty in COVID relief dollars. In addition to the $13 billion the federal government routinely sends to the transit agencies, we sent another 70 billion, not 17, 7070, for a total of $83 billion in about a one year period. They haven't even figured out how they're gonna spend the absolutely unprecedented and staggering amount of money they're still sitting on. So my position is, how about we go back to normal funding? Toomey says while public transit spends what they've got, an inflation-adjusted $13 billion is enough. John Delano, KDK News.